Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be learning the D minor chord right there. The D minor chord on guitar. Um, yeah, before we get started though, I want to remind you, always, 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 um, whenever you pick up your guitar to play it or to do anything with it, the very first thing I want you to do is tune your guitar. Get that thing in tune. So if you're not in tune right now, push pause. Pull out your app that's a tuner or your tuner from your guitar store um, and tune your guitar up. Um, if you don't have a tuner, I still need you to tune. Here's a link to a video where I will walk you through how to tune your guitar without a tuner. Um, so go ahead and do that and then come back to this video because we need you in tune. All right, um, hopefully you tuned up and you're back. So, like I said, this is our D minor chord, and the first thing I want you to notice here is those X, the X, X, and the O on this chord, on the chord chart. Um, again, uh, if you, this is a brief overview. If you want a in more in-depth analysis on how to read this chord chart, here's a video here. Um, but what the X and the X mean is we are not playing those strings. That means we are only playing four, four of our six strings. So our our low E string, which is here, and our A string, which is here, do not get played at all with this chord. And then if you look at the D string, the next one from there, it has an O, which means it's open, which means we're going to play it, but we're not going to place any fingers on it. So, piece of cake should sound like this. The D. Perfect. And the next thing I would like you to look at is the little black dots on our chord chart. There are three of them. So we are going to be using three fingers for this chord. That is the number one finger or your index finger, the number two finger or your middle finger, and the number three finger or your ring finger. So let's jump right in. If we look and find our number one finger, we will see it's on the first fret. So fret number one on the very high E, the very first string or the thinnest string is just down here. So we're going to put that finger there and it should sound like this. Nice and easy. Make sure you snug that finger right up next to the first fret there. All right, now we're going to get our second finger right here, or our middle finger. And we'll notice that it goes on the second fret, one, two. And the third string from the bottom, or the G string, one, two, three, right here. So that's going to go right there and should sound like this. So our two strings so far should sound like this. <laughs> and then, uh, and if you're not already feeling this stretch, this third finger is going to uh, feel a nice stretch for you. It might even hurt a little bit. Um, let's just see where it goes first, and then we'll look at what we can do to uh, mitigate that pain that it might be causing. Um, so our third finger here, it's gonna go on our third fret, one, two, three, on our second string from the bottom, our B string, one, two. So it's gonna go right there. Should sound like this. So our chord now is done. So find your fourth, um, your fourth string or your D string, this one and put your pick or your thumb there, whatever you're gonna use to strum today. And let's strum this chord and see what it sounds like. Here's what it should sound like. One more time here. Those minor chords are always a little more ominous, a little more, you know, dramatic. Um, but that's what that should sound like. And uh, hey, if yours does not sound like that, do not worry. Go ahead and take your hand off. Squeeze your hand, get some blood into it, shake it out. Whatever you need to do. Um, but next we are going to troubleshoot. So say you're like, John, my D minor chord sounds nothing like that. It's like, okay, let's troubleshoot that. Number one, first and foremost, did you tune your guitar? <laughs> it's always where we got to start. Um, if you did not hit pause, Tune your guitar up, start the video over, and try again, and it should sound much, much better. 
Um, so if yes, you tuned your guitar, that's fine. Let's go through each string. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go through each string uh, one at a time and see what might be happening here. So we'll take our first finger and we'll place that on the first fret. First string should sound like this. Now right away, if this one doesn't sound like that, there's pretty much two things that could be happening. Since it's the only finger right now um, on down on the fretboard, um, what could be happening is you could be, could be getting this sound. That's like a muted sound. What that means is you are not pressing down hard enough. And I know this little E string here can kind of cut and kind of, I don't know, it hurts. I think it's the most painful string. Um, but let me reassure you, we got to press down hard enough to get it, and it will get less and less painful as we practice. So that's one thing you might be hearing. Another thing you might be getting is a buzz, like this. And if you notice where my finger is here, it's kind of, it's pretty far away from the uh, the first fret, and that's why that sounds getting like that. So if we slide it over as close to the first fret. Not on top, but close, just behind it. Two things happen. It cleans up the tone and the buzz. And also, maybe more importantly right now to you, you have to press down much, much less. If you're back here, guess what? You can get it to sound right. But you got to press real hard, and that hurts. So if you press here, you don't have to press nearly as hard. And really what you want to do is press as lightly as you can while still getting the correct sound. So we don't want to smash it. Oop. We don't want to smash it. Because that could also change the pitch of the note. And we don't want that either. So as softly as you can while still getting the right sound. So that's what could be happening on that string right now. There could be more happening on it later and we'll get to that as we progress through the chord. Number two, this middle finger is gonna go on the second fret, the third string from the bottom, like we said, should sound like this, right? Just like that. Um, and the same two things can be happening on this string. We, uh, we could be getting this light muffled sound, which means, unfortunately, we need to press harder. Or we could be getting this buzzing sound. Which means we're probably too far behind the second fret and we need to get closer to that fret. So that's what could be happening there. And another thing that this finger might do um, is affect the string above it, the D string. If we're playing this flat like this, this finger could touch that chord and get make or <clears throat> touch that string, the D string, and make it sound muted, like this. So if you're going to play the chord, and you get this sound, guess what? You're probably just not playing up on your fingertip enough. So go ahead and round that hand out a little bit, and see if you can get them both ringing out. And another string, the string below it, shouldn't be affected by this finger because we're going to play our third finger on the third fret one two three on the second string here so because it's a head one fret what this finger does to the string below it is not really going to affect it so the same couple things could be happening or same three this this finger can affect four <laughs> four different things i don't know let's see so if we're not getting this sound, we could be getting this sound, which means press harder. We could be getting this sound, which means move closer to the third fret. We could be we could be playing flat and affecting the string above it here. So if our finger's flat like this, we could get you know, we could be touching that string a little bit, so we gotta round it out. Play on the fingertip, make sure we're not touching that. And we can also be touching this high E string. So this finger is pretty important that we are up on the fingertip 
and we are kind of rounding our hand out because it can't be touching the string above it or below it because it'll negatively affect the sound of the chord. So go ahead and strum that again from your D string all the way down to your high E. And then pick each note individually. And strum it again. If it's not sounding correct when you strum it uh, one, one note at a time, whichever one's not sounding right, so just stop there and look and see, okay, am I pressing hard enough? Am I too far away from the fretboard? Is another finger touching it? Get that right and then start again from the top. Okay, now this one, and you can look at this string and this finger and see, okay, am I, am I where I need to be? And just do that one string at a time. Um, and if your hand is starting to hurt, your fingers are hurting or it's stretching too much, take your hand off, shake it out, squeeze your hand like this, get blood back into it, take a little break, and uh, come back to it. This is one of those chords that kind of uh, hurts, hurts your fingertips because you're on these real thin strings and it hurts your hand because you're stretching across three frets. So just an important thing to remember is guitar does hurt, <laughs> especially at the beginning. It'll get better. It won't hurt as much. Um, but guys, you can do this. That is your D minor chord. Um, and practice makes perfect. You can either come back to this um, video or you can just pull up your D minor chord chart and remember, get your fingers where they're supposed to be. Strum it, pick each note, strum it again and work until you can get that clean nice and clean um, so you got this guys i believe in you thanks so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and uh hey, say hey in the comments or if you have any questions or comments let me know and i'll chat with you soon all right uh have a great day and keep improving at your guitar all right see ya bye